Hello again, YouTube. This is the truth, man. Giving you the truth. Back at it again. More videos to come today. I want to talk. I kind of got this idea from, you know, taking my sons to work. We were just talking about some things. And I was already thinking about this video, what I was going to talk about uh, as I was getting ready to start my day. So, I was watching Charleston White, a video that was on Facebook. And he, I guess he was doing a live and he was telling guys that when you got a sorry ASS woman, she don't cook breakfast for you, this, that, and the other. Uh, I want to tell you guys, man, that here's the thing. You listen to some of these guys and, and you know, I like Charleston White. Like, I, I like how he just puts it out there. You know, I like people that do that. But you don't have to try to figure out what they thinking, so on and so forth. But sometimes when you watch these people and they start saying certain things, you start looking at yourself. I want to talk about, in particular, like I'm going to talk about a lot of stuff on here. But I want to talk in particular about this thing where you ain't effing these women right. That's not true. Man. It's not true. Man. I'm telling you, I know this. It's not true. It's not true. I know. Like, I've been down this avenue with many friends in the past, since in my, going back to my 20s. People been saying this type of stuff for years. It's just not true. A woman is going to do more for you when she likes you and when she respects you. And in a lot of cases, it's not going to matter what you do, what you do right, what you do wrong. It's not, man. People be trying to act like they doing and and and. And it's not just, I'm not, I'm not talking down on Charleston White or anybody else. I'm just going by the years that I've been hearing this about women, about this, auntie, cousin, all of Listen, they, it's cap. These women will do everything for a person they like. Y'all don't know that by now that if that was, if I'm lying, then how the pookies get anywhere with women? In and out of jail. So on and so forth. When a woman likes you, she's gonna ride or die for you. I mean, that's this. Listen, a lot of times we like them. We pick the one who ain't into us sometimes too. Oh, she's playing hard to get. I like when they do that. You're not supposed to like when they play hard to get. Because here's what happened. When they play hard to get, when you first meet them, what's going to happen when people start dying? What's going to happen when they don't get their way? What's, what's going to happen is they're going to turn against you. And they're going to start resenting you. And that girl over there, she was down for you. She was down for you. And who's to say she would have did that? We do what they do sometimes. We pick the one who was talking to other dudes, was avoiding you, all of this stuff in the beginning. And then they'll have a period where they act right, and then they'll go right back to that disrespect. Now, here's what's crazy. Here's what's crazy. Sometimes, like, when they act like that, they can't see it. But you can, and other people can. So, don't beat up yourself thinking, well, there must be something wrong with me. Listen, man. He, had, he indicated, he said, you must don't be effing it right. Uh, you must see you in, in five minutes. It don't matter. Listen, they did a study. They, in fact, 
People say, well, I want a guy that's fit, this, that, and the other. They say fat guys last longer than skinny guys. They last up to three and a half minutes longer during sex than skinny dudes and fit dudes. And let's go here. We're probably going to do a separate video about this. There are some, uh, what, what do you call the sex doctors? There's a sex doctor that stated plainly that size don't matter. And she said, why? She used her own experience. She said that she had a guy and, and somebody else, like when I was in college, another girl told me the same thing. Two girls actually told me the same thing. You know, I've really, I've been like these dudes be on YouTube interviewing Man, I've been interviewing girls since college. Like, I, I, we'll sit around talking, and I'll be practically interviewing them, just finding stuff out. So, she said a guy was enormous. She said, but he only lasted 10 seconds. I had a friend of a friend that told me the same thing. I said, but he buffed, though. He muscle bodied it. She said such and such my first name he only lasts two seconds as soon as he get anywhere near she said and this dude was muscle bound like he had just muscles in muscles you people be developing these ideals that don't even be based on facts for one everybody is different that's for one so you, know, you must not be you must not be giving her that work all of that man stop it man stop it you ever you ever okay I know for myself you ever gave somebody that work they talking about as soon as they got mad at you other dudes was on the couch other dudes was over there I'll admit, it happened to me. I, this stuff about single mothers, I learned that when I was 21 years old. So, I had this girl that was pregnant. I met her, it was summertime. You know how you get in the summer. Y'all know how Milwaukee, on Chris B. Info, he know what I'm talking about. He know how Milwaukee gets in the summertime. And anybody else that's on here, Midwest in general, Midwest life is usually kind of similar. Where the girls come out in the summer, that's practically everywhere though. So, I was just on them that particular year. I was like 20, 21. I met a pregnant girl. Started talking to her, dealing with her, stuff like that. Stuff was happening. As soon as she got mad at they had other dudes over there. And I had hooked my friends up with them, with her friends, all this. Everybody was out in the cold. Everybody. No, matter of fact, it was, no, it was winter time. Because it was snow outside. Yeah, it was winter time. We might have met in the summer. Why am I thinking about the summer? So... When a woman likes you, she's gonna do more for you. She's gonna cook breakfast. She's gonna do this, she's gonna do that. But once she turns against you, you might as well just leave her alone. Y'all, oh, we got kids. She turned against you, man. She's not into you. You're going to upset yourself. Cause see, here's another thing that happens. When they turn against you, when they not into you no more, You'll see them doing stuff for dudes that you know ain't no good. You'll be seeing them in the city. You'll see them in Walmart talking to other other women. And you'll just be shaking your head like, she doing all that for him? That's how it be for a lot of guys. Just let her do her thing, man. But don't give her no money, though. See, here's what y'all do. Here's what y'all do. Y'all don't know how to quit things stuff like that so and y'all don't know how to build up your money and how to plan for disasters so 
when your wife turn against you, you keep working that job and, and they giving half the money to her and she cooking breakfast with Pookie and Ray Ray with your money that you getting out of, the, out of the bed going to work to make. She taking the money, the checks that she get with child support and alimony. She not spending them on the kids. She spending them trying to satisfy dude and on herself. And, if, and when you really get to the bottom of it, he really wasn't smashing her like you was. She just liked him. That's just the way it be. She just liked him. In her mind, he doing it. But in reality, he ain't hitting that. In fact, you probably was, was smashing her better than him. She just likes him. Guys be thinking they be knowing stuff, man. Listen, it's about who they like. If, if a woman don't like you, she ain't gonna find no good in nothing you do. She's gonna use you until somebody else comes around. And that's why I shout out to all the guys in this space to talk about it. Whether you grifting, whether you taking advantage or not, it doesn't matter, man. You deserve the money you get. If you get on here every day and you talk about this and guys is being helped, you deserve it. Bottom line, you deserve it. And that's why I probably done scaled back some of my support, but I still be super chatting people. Because I, I want to show them, keep doing what you're doing, man. These women is out here just deceiving. They got dudes thinking, oh, you ain't hitting it right. Then you get with somebody else, and you practically all you practically in a small intestine. And, and of course, same thing. While she likes you, she's gonna appreciate you being in them small intestines. But the minute she start, the minute female nature kicks in, if it kicks in, if it don't, then you might get somewhere with her. If she's a unicorn, unicorns make breakfast for guys. Unicorns clean up the house. Unicorns, they ain't gonna be flirting with other dudes. Even if you practice polygyny, if she, if you got two unicorns, man, they gonna, they gonna get along and they gonna be faithful to you simple as that it ain't got nothing to do with being balls deep and all this all that if she don't like you you can be balls deep all you want she gonna be like you could have went a couple more minutes i'm telling you i know what i'm talking about man i know what i'm talking i've been around a long time i've seen a lot i heard a lot i kept track of a lot of things I know what I'm talking about. People be like, and then you got a group on here trying to elevate themselves. Are oh, you old nigga? Uh, uh, uh. Listen, I ain't no simp. I ain't no simp. I'll admit that I was before. Like, I was a beta male that would beat you up. Like, I used to literally, I used to be more like a mix between Pookie and Tyrone. And I was beta. But as I started getting older and I started learning the game, like I hit 22, I was a, I was like a mix. Like I was learning the game, but I was I'm too beta. Now, in my 40s, man, please. I done seen it all. Just like they done seen it all. You think you impressing them? This is why guys like young women sometimes. And like Kevin Samuel say, experience taught him the same thing. He said the reason why he wouldn't date women his age is because it's just too much work. Too much work trying to satisfy him. Too much work trying to please him. Me, I'll deal with women my age, but it's gonna be a certain type of way. Cause I already know how, I already know, put it this way, I already know how they thinking. So I'm not gonna deal with them in a turn in a 
sense of trying to please them. I'll deal with them in the sense of if you please me, I'm going to try to please you. That's how it is. It ain't going to be the other way around because you're not needed. You're wanted. The difference, it's a difference. I need God. I need money. I need to stay healthy. Those are needs. Women are wants. A nice car is a want. A woman is a want. And as long as you know that and don't feel bad, when they start getting mad at the truth, they gon' they're supposed to get mad at the truth. Hit dogs, holler. So, don't be beating yourself up, trying trying to impress these chicks. Impress yourself. Get to the point where you looking around in your driveway like, the Most High bless me. Bow down, thank God first. And then, like, I really was able to do all of this. You should be working on accolades and luxuries. Accolades and luxuries. Your spiritual life intact, and then work on your accolades and your luxuries. Let's not be spending hours and hours she saying, won't you stay home today? No, I'm not staying home today. These dudes. Be a man. Don't be like these other guys out here. Always trying to be macho. Drive respectfully. Live respectfully. This is the truth, man. The channel is no matrix, no simple on subject channel. I want to say it again. Be at your best, but don't don't fall into these little stereotypical uh, ideals that you must be doing something wrong. You must not be hitting right. But was Adam hitting Eve right? Was Adam hitting Eve right? When the Most High probably showed him what he needed to do. What did Eve do? I rest my case.